Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be fitting a full kit to my Corsa D. The brand is Maxton and what I mean by this is that we're going to be installing a front splitter extension, side skirt extension, rear spats and a spoiler extension all onto my Corsa D in this one video. I thought instead of just making separate videos to make it long, just put it all in one video. It might be longer, but at least you'll see everything that gets added to the car. And it's all gonna be one brand and that's just Maxton. I could have gone TRC, but a lot more people said that Maxton was the better quality. So I just went with those. So without further ado, let's go and install the full kit to my Corsa D. This is a 2009 model. It was originally just a basic Corsa, but now it's got a VXR body kit on it. And the spoiler I've got in this video is made for a Corsa D VXR. So make sure if you're buying one for like a Corsa SXI, make sure you find the one that's actually specifically for that, as the one I'll be linking down below will be for the VXR. Let's get into it. So I'm just gonna show you some of the Maxton stuff off the car before I install it. This is the Maxton spoiler extension, and that, is what obviously is going on a spoiler. This just comes with a bit of 3M tape, but what I'm gonna do to make sure this is securely on properly is I'm gonna bond some Tiger Seal to this. This takes 24 hours to bond, so you won't be able to drive your car for at least 24 hours just so it bonds. But once it has, it's all good to go and it just gives you that extra bit of security so that it doesn't fall off. There's a genuine Maxton logo there. It should come like that if it's real. And then you've got a Maxton design logo there. So that's the spoiler. These are the Maxton spats and there's the certified logo again and it comes with these bolts here to screw them into the bumper. I'm going to put some more Tiger Seal on this. Basically I'm putting Tiger Seal on all of these products here. This is the front splitter as you can see. I've gone for the one that has a little lip here because I think it finishes it off better. And you have the side skirts. There the finishes at the bottom just for anyone wondering. It's not finished the same as it is on the top. I'm not sure why it's like that, but that's just how it is. I'm pretty sure that's how TRC is as well. I've gone for the gloss look instead of carbon as my wheels are gloss. That's all the stuff there. Some screws and bolts come with these two products as well, the side skirts and front splitter. And I'm going to tiger seal them as well, like I said. These come with the side skirts and then these go with the front splitter. And there's a lot more in there, as you can see. The reason how you know is because it says there. That's all you need. Now let's go and install all this on the car. So what I've done is I've put the Corsa VXR spoiler lip on the VXR spoiler itself and I've got it in the best position that it sits. So what I've done is I've marked some pen lines there. I'm going to put the points of these corners towards them and I've done one in the centre just there and then the same again on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back the Maxton sticker but I'm also going to put some Tiger Seal on the front edge of it, not next to the sticker, but below this point, just so it can't interfere with the sticker or look messy on the outside. So you need to do that, peel the tape back, and then you need to heat gun it and press down so that it moulds onto the car spoiler properly. Like I said, just here, but just enough. Just in case it splurges. Now that that's on, we can take off the 3M sticker. So now we need to line it up in the car, which we've already done. So you need to make sure those points line up both sides. So now that the spoiler's on and it's compressed down, obviously you had to line up with these lines on both corners, which I've done. And then the center one with the badge, which lines up perfectly and then just there. It should look like that. There should be no gaps where you can see straight through the other side. All you have to do now is pull this tape off and then we're gonna heat gun it down so that it's down on there properly. So you make sure you take this film off first and then you can heat gun it. So just peel the tape back. Now we have the spoiler and you can finally see the gloss itself. And now we're just gonna heat gun it down.
So now that of course the spoiler extension lip is on, we're now gonna move on to the spats. So they fit just like that. So the lip is only just slightly coming out. You have a screw under the diffuser. That's where that little hole sits there. It comes in the mold already. And I'm gonna do where those little lines are that you can just see there, there and there. That's where I'm gonna be drilling through so that they're bolted in. And then I'm gonna put some tiger seal right on the lip edge here. And then it's done. Make sure you peel the tape before you install this one though. Otherwise you're gonna have trouble getting it off. So what we're doing now is we're drilling some holes there, like I said, and you're just gonna drill for the 6.5 mil. So now we have somewhere to put the bolts through so that it stays on, which I include in the kit. And we're gonna seal Tiger Seal right on the edge of that lip there. You wanna do the same again underneath the car. So where you can see I've screwed that hole, I've marked up the points. So what I've done, I put the spat on there. Obviously that was cut when we just cut it a minute ago. So then I put the pen marks through there, took that off and obviously now I can see. And that's what you want to do as well. And you can see my two little dots there. And that's what I'm going to be drilling up through as well. So you want to drill through there and then you can bolt it through. I'm having to do this a really bodge way as the drill that you have to drill up with, which we use with the spats, will not fit under the car. And I'm just trying to get all this on. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna cut around, nice sharp knife, just to get the perfect cut. And the reason why we're doing this is because on that lip there, we're gonna peel that tape off on the top. So you're gonna peel that bit of the tape off now. And obviously this part is still on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal around there. So if it did get messy, you just peel that off and then it'll be neater and you won't have that problem of it looking messy. So that's what we're gonna do. So you don't have to do this with a tiger seal, it's completely up to you guys, but we're doing this because I know this is staying on permanently. So we're doing it just so it sticks on properly and it has no chance of falling off that way in case one of the screws got loose. So as you can see, the Tiger Seal has been applied and now I'm gonna fit it on the car. It should just go on like that. The spat is now on in place, it's not done fully as I've just put this on temporarily to see if it looks right. This is what it looks like from the bottom, it should look like this. And then up here, when it's in properly, you have some washers and some 10 mil nuts. And that is what you're gonna put up there to screw it in properly. What you can see there, in a way, is that I've screwed that nut and bolt on with, onto that screw there. So that's holding it in place. I have to do the same to all three. You can't really see from under here, but it's really awkward to do. But once you've got the washer on and then the nut, you get the drill or your Allen key and you screw that up tight so it can't fall off. So now you wanna try and get two people because you're gonna have to screw up into that nut there. You need to hold the nut with a spanner now. At the same time as drilling up, as holding the spanner on those bolts there. So you have to do that with at least two people. If you can do it by yourself, even better, but it's gonna be hard, so I'd advise doing it with two people. So now you need to hold it down, the 10 mil spanner, whilst drilling up at the same time. So now the nut is tightened and the bolt has gone down. That's what you've done on the first one. Now we need to do it again on this one. Just hold it like that and then go. So it should go like that. And now just one more. So just like that, all three are done and your spat is on and it's sealed as well. And now you can just peel that tape off. So we now have the side skirt extension and this one probably the easiest out of them all. The back's now finished, it's just the sides and front to go. These are self-tapping screws so they're so much easier to go through because obviously on the side you can't really put too much pressure on it as it'll just crack the side skirt. So that's what they've included and it's a good idea. And to be fair, I was worried these were going to stick out too much so when someone got out the back they could accidentally step on it and it just snap. But it doesn't actually stick out that much, to be fair. It's pretty much flush with the size skirt itself. It just sticks out about 
25 mil more than the side skirt and it has a logo of the Maxton badge there. Just for any of you wondering if it had one, it does there. So let's get this one on. This will be the easiest one. So we're going in with a 5.5 mil with the drill through that hole and that hole there for drainage. And we'll be doing 10 down in total down the length to screw it on. And then the same again on the rest. So we've got 10 in total, two near the edge. And the same with this one. We are doing tiger seal all the way along. And we've done the same with a knife where we cut around it so that you can peel it back. It just works so much easier. So I advise you to do that. That's all you have to do. And then you can bolt it onto the car. We are putting the side skirt extension on. I haven't got a drill bit for it. So I'm having to use it with a ratchet, which is going to make it a lot harder, but it should still work. Now it is in position and I just need to screw up with it. So you have to push and twist at the same time. It's a bit hard. Once you get the rhythm, you'll be fine. And then you do the exact same with the other eight you've got to do. This side skirt is now on and all we have to do is just peel this off. And there you have the Maxton badge. And then just pull this sticker off all the way to the other side. That is the side skirt extensions done. Now we can move on to the front splitter and that will be the last one. And then the full kit is installed. I'm so happy with this so far. If you follow this step by step, it should go really easy. Let's move on to the front. So we've now jacked up the car and we've put some axle stands underneath. And that's what's going to be supporting the car whilst we install the front splitter. So this is what it looks like without it. And obviously you'll see what it looks like in a minute. We fitted the other side skirt extension. And as you can see, it's all coming together now. I'm so happy with how the back looks and I can't wait to see what the front's gonna look like. I think that'll finish it off nicely. So let's get this front splitter installed. Here's the Maxton Corsa. I think this is a VXR edition splitter. I think you can get it on the normal ones as well. But as you can see with this one, like I mentioned at the start, this one lips up. Some of them don't come like that. They just go straight, just like that is but I prefer that as I think it has more to it. So we're gonna drill a hole right there, one there, one in the center of there, and we're gonna put one in each of these lips here, and then obviously one there, one there, one there. So there should be three on each side of there, three in there, and three down there. So just drill through. Like that. There's something like 14 screws in this box, so you can put as many as you want in your way. You don't have to put just three in one side, so we're going to put as many in as possible just so it has extra support. We're going to tiger seal it as well, just so it's bonded properly, like on the rest of them, so then it can't shake about as much. So that's how many we've put in at the moment. We've got five on one section, three there, and then another five here. And once it's on the car, we're probably gonna put another couple just behind the ones in the front, just so it gives it even more support. It's just for peace of mind, and at least that way it's got less chance of falling off. We're gonna try it on the car first, and if it fits perfectly, we're gonna put some tiger seal on it. We're gonna reinstall it, and we're gonna screw a couple in, and then once they're all in, we'll see if it needs any more. So we'll go from there. In the bag, there's 16 of these bolts here. You've got 16 nuts and 16 washers. So you've got plenty to mess around with once installing this. So you need to mark up so you know where to drill through. So we've got a 6.6 .6 drill bit and that's what we're gonna go up with through here. Just be careful you don't go through the radiator. Yeah. 
Another thing as well, guys, once you're installing this, underneath the car, just near my head here, you've got a couple screws on the bumper that you need to unscrew because once you've got the bolt going through the splitter, obviously you're gonna have to put the washer and the nut on. So you need to pull this down so you can actually access underneath. You don't have to take the full bumper off. It's just literally so you can do that. And that way it gives you much easier access. So that's what we're gonna do now. Got a 10 torque. And that's what I'm gonna unscrew my bumpers with. And that's what you need to do on all the screws going down just so you can pull this down. So all three screws are now out and they were torque tens. So now we should be able to lift this back of the bumper out underneath. And then that way we can put the washers and the nuts on the bolts. So it should do this now. Whereas before you can pull it down, you now have some room to do that. So that's how we'll do it. So like we did with the spats, you just put the nut up, put the washer on, then put the nut on top, get your spanner on top of this nut here and drill up with a torque 10 and it should all fasten together nicely. Now it's just a case of getting it in line properly. As you can see, we're now drilling a couple more holes and you just keep repeating the process like that. So it should look like that with the bolt going through there with the washer on first and then nut and then what you do get your 10 spanner put it on top like that and as you can see the drill is going up at the same time so you just hold the spanner tight and it drills on place and that's what you have to do with the rest of the holes and you're good to go and it should be on properly now that it's in place for just a minute i'm going to drill through the holes that need drilling through like here so that the hole's there so we can put more bolts in. The radiator isn't actually next to it, guys. I just said it. Someone might end up going through it. You never know. So it's just easy to say it. So make sure you're just aware of that. They're all drilled through now. So now we can take it back off and tiger seal it and then fit it back into place and get it all screwed in and it will be good to go. What we're going to do to make it easier, we've just released the end bolt there. We're going to peel this tape back so that we don't have to mess around Stanley and round it just so it makes our life a bit easier. And another bonus is we don't have to take it fully off because what we'll do is we'll release that bolt, obviously, tiger seal it whilst it's on the car, screw it back up, and then do the same down the middle, and then the same on the other side like we've done there, just so we don't have to mess around taking it all back off. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're putting tiger seal on it just so it bonds, like I said before. So ours looks like this. So it should look like that. And then just some in the center as well. We're gonna do ours on top of the little shark fins. And now we just bolt it up so that's how I can start bonding. Now I'm just gonna repeat the same process. So it should be on like that. As you can see from the back, the tiger seal bonding is in place. The nut and washer is on and the bolt is tightened down there. Now you just have to repeat that on all of them. So I'm going to do that now, guys, and I'll see you once I've done. So guys, it is finally finished. All of the Maxton kit is on. I am so gassed with it. This is the front splitter. We haven't taken it down off a of jack yet, but that is what it looks like. I'm gonna do a montage for you all, just so you can see it a bit more close up. But the finish on that is just sick. I'm so happy with it. 
I'm glad I got the one with the lip as well, just makes more flush with the VXR bumper. All of the bolts are in place, but I'm really happy with this all in all. So, it's finally done, and I'm going to do a montage for you now, like I said a minute ago. So, enjoy the montage. I hope you all did enjoy this video. That is the video finished now. Let me know your opinions down below. Here is the 2009 Corsa D. This was a normal car, but obviously I've done the VXR conversion kit on it. But that is a full car done. And here's a montage.